Hello everyone, I'm Prahlad, and this is 7th grade math with all STEM. In today's video, we will finish reviewing geometry by studying measurements of shapes and learning how to use these to solve mathematical and real-world problems. As some of you may already know, our videos consist of 8 to 15 review questions with a step-by-step -step solution to each one. Remember, if you answer a question correctly, you can skip to the next question using the timestamp in a video. If you answer a question incorrectly, you should stick around to watch the solution. Also, if you need some extra practice after watching the video, look in the description box for some links for further reference. Here you can find practice problems and solutions that are similar to the ones we went over in the video. Now it's time for our first practice problem. Alright, so before the first question, here's a formula sheet real quick. The formula for the circumference of a circle is 2 pi times r. The formula for the area of a circle is pi times r squared. The, fo the formula for the volume of a right rectangular prism is length times width times height. And the formula for the volume of a pyramid is length times width times height, all divided by 3. And the first practice question says, find the area of the following circle given the diameter is 28 centimeters. Use 3.14 as pi. And as usual, you can pause the video and solve this question by yourself. And when you're ready to see the video, you can play the video. And you're free to use a calculator for this question if you need. Okay, the correct answer to this question is 615.44 centimeters squared. So first I'm going to write down the formula for the area of a circle. It's pi times r squared. And remember the radius is always one, ra the radius is one half the diameter. And we're not given the radius. Here we're given the diameter. So we're going to plug that into the formula. So r equals 1 over 2 times 28 and a half of 28 is 14 so we get the r equals 14. Now we have to find the area so we can plug that into the formula we have area equals pi times 14 squared and then so we have area equals pi times and 14 squared is going to be 196 and in some cases, you could just leave it as 196 pi, but in this case, it's telling us to use 3.14 as pi. So A equals, and we can use our calculator, 196 times 3.14. And we're going to get 615.44. And we need to specify the unit, so it's going to be centimeters squared since it's area. So that's our final answer. Okay, practice question number two says, find the circumference of the following circle. The radius is two meters. Assume pi as 3.14. So the correct answer to this question is 12.56 meters. So, I'm going to go ahead and write down the circumference formula. So circumference of a circle is always going to be 2 pi r. So right now we are given the radius, which is 2 meters. So c equals 2 times pi times 2. So we have c circumference equals 4 pi. And pi, we're told to assume that pi is 3.14. So c equals 4 times 3.14 and you can use a calculator for this if you need so we're just going to get c equals 12.56 and it's going to be in meters since that's our unit and that's going to be our final answer the circumference is 12.56 meters all right practice question number three says the following image which is seen on the right is a circle inscribed inside of a square if the square has side lengths of 3 meters, how much of the area is shaded? 
use 3.14 as pi. And for this question, you may need a calculator. Okay, the correct answer to this question is 1.935 meters squared. So, so first we need to look at the diagram and we, we're trying to find the shaded area. And we see that it's a circle at, with a square inside of it. So the shaded area is going to be the area of the square minus the area of the circle. So first we can start off by finding the area of the square using the side length. So the, the area of the square is just going to be 3 times 3, since it, we have the side length, and so s equals 9. So that's going to be the area of the square. And now we need to find the area of the circle. So the formula for that is pi r squared. So we have, we have the diameter of the circle, which is the entire length, since we're given the side length. And we know that the radius is going to be 1 over 2 times the diameter since the radius is just half the diameter so and the diameter is 3 so the radius is going to be 1 over 2 times 3 which is going to be 1.5 so we can plug that into our area of the circle formula so that's going to be pi times 1.5 squared and we can use our calculator to do 1.5 squared and that's just going to give us 2.25. So the area of a circle equals 2.25 pi. And we're, we're told to use 3.14 as pi. So we can also use a calculator for that. So we're going to get the area of the circle equals 7.065. So now we have both of our areas and now all we need to do is subtract the area of the circle from the area of the square so we know that the area of the square is 9 and then the area of the circle is 7.065 so if we you can also use a calculator for that and you're going to get the area equals 1.935 and we need to make sure that on our unit and since it's the area it's going to be meters squared so our final answer is one point 935 meters squared. All right, so before we go to the next practice question, I'm going to go over some angle rules. So first we have vertical angles, which are opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. They are always congruent, which means they're always equal. Next we have adjacent angles, which are just two angles that have a common vertex and a side. And then there, these are linear pairs. They're adjacent angles formed by intersecting lines, and they're always going to add up to 180 degrees. So the fourth practice question says, what is the value of x in degrees? So you can pause the video and solve this question on your own. And when you're ready to see the answer, you can play the video. OK, the correct answer is x equals 50 degrees. So we can see that these are this is a linear pair. So these two angles are going to add up to 180 degrees because uh, these two lines are going to form a linear pair. And that means these two angles are going to add up to 180. So we can just set that up as an equation. 2x plus 80 equals 180. You can subtract 80 from both sides. And we'll get 2x equals 100 and then we can divide both sides by 2 so then we're going to get x equals 50 and that's going to be our final answer all right practice question number five says what is the value of angle x and you can see a small diagram below Okay, the correct answer to this question is x equals 79 degrees. So we, when we see this question, we can see that the, the 79 degrees and this x are going to be vertical angles. So if you remember from, from the previous slides, that vertical angles are always congruent. 
So that means that these two angles are always going to be equal. So x is going to equal 79 degrees. And that's our final answer. All right, so the sixth practice question says, what is the volume of a rectangular prism with length 3 meters, height 4 meters, and width 5 meters? The answer to this question is 60 meters cubed. So I'm going to write down the volume, the volume of a rectangular prism formula. It's just length times width times height. So we have all those values, so we can just plug in. Volume equals 3 times 5 times 4, and that's just going to give us 60. And we need to make sure to add our unit, which is meters cubed, since we're finding volume. So 60 meters cubed is our final answer. Okay. The final practice question of this video says, find the volume of pyramid with length 3 meters, width 2 meters, and height 7 meters. The correct answer to this question is 14 meters cubed. So the formula for volume of a pyramid is length times width times height all over 3. And we have those three values, so we can just plug in. V equals 3 times 2 times 7 all over 3. We can, we can cancel out the 3s over here, and we get V equals 2 times 7, and we're just going to get V equals 14. And we need to add our unit. It's going to be meters cubed again, since we're finding volume using meters. So that's our final answer, 14 meters cubed. Thank you for watching, and we hope these last two videos have been a good review of the geometry unit. Remember, if you'd still like some extra practice, you can look in the description box for some links for further reference. Finally, if you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more of them, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.